Welcome back everyone. Now today we're going to try and repair my compass. Now my compass is located on the bulkhead here and if you take a look at it it's kind of canted at an angle and that's usually caused by the fact that an air bubble has gotten into the compass and it's causing it to not function properly. Now my choices are to either deal with it and just let it stay like that and not use my compass. Buy a new compass, which would cost about 300 bucks, plus take about two weeks of time to uh, order a new one, and I don't really have two weeks, or try and repair it. So I'm gonna try option three, which is trying to repair it. Now a compass has fluid in it, and it also has a little diaphragm, like a bubble or a balloon in it. And the purpose of the balloon is to expand and contract as the fluid heats up inside the compass. And so what I'm gonna do is take the compass off the bulkhead, put it into a cooler full of ice, leave it there for eight to 10 hours and let it cool all the way down so that the liquid will contract as much as possible, then fill the bubble that is left in there so that there is no bubble and then uh, hopefully mount it back on the wall and have a working compass. So let's get started with this. First thing is to remove it from the wall. So on the back side of my compass, I have four screws. You can see one here, here, there, and one almost behind the fire extinguisher. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those four screws and then it will come loose from the wall. Now we're going to put it in the ice bath. Okay, we have it removed from the wall. And you can see the big bubble that's here in the top. Now it's kind of flattened out again because I've taken it loose from the wall. But uh, we're going to put this in the ice bath and let it cool off and then we'll uh, hopefully get it fixed and be back to normal. Now you may be asking, how do I know how to do all of this stuff? Well, I actually don't. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember my dad had a big long set of books, uh, maybe 10 or 15 books in total, that were how to fix things. And anytime something would go wrong, like the refrigerator or uh, something wrong with the car or something like that, he would refer to these books. And it taught me at a very young age that, uh, well, if you look things up, you can usually learn how things work and how to get them working properly again. And uh, today we have the wonderful uh, invention of the internet. And so I just go onto the internet and look up how to fix things or how to fix a compass and then uh, follow the instructions that I come by. cover will help to insulate it just a little bit, help the ice last a little better. And of course, it'd be better if I had a freezer, but uh, living on a boat like this, I don't have a freezer. I don't even have a refrigerator or an ice box. So uh, this is what I got to do to get the job done. Okay, folks, this compass has been on ice all day long bring it out there's a little set screw right here I'm gonna release that set screw and then I'm gonna add some propylene glycol
when I looked on the internet, that was the liquid that was recommended for the compass. So I've got my propylene glycol. I've got a little syringe here because the hole is fairly small. I want to get the air bubble out of here. There we go. Now we'll just tilt this up. And taking quite a bit. I can see the bubble getting smaller and smaller, but it's taking quite a bit of this stuff. Okay, I've gotten it, so I've completely filled the bubble. Purple and glycol is slippery. There we go. It's a little cloudy right now because it's still cold and it's uh, clouding up because of the heat and the moisture but I don't see any more bubbles in there at all. And now as it begins to warm up, that liquid will expand. So pretty simple job all in all. Um, not the cheapest job in the world if you have to buy your own ice and you don't have a cooler available or a freezer. And this is the flashing ring that goes around the back side. Okay, so we got it mounted back in there. Let's put the trim ring back on. Another project complete. And uh, hopefully you've liked this video. It's been helpful to you. If you would, please give us that thumbs up icon or that old like a -roo. If you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to consider subscribing. We're going to be doing a lot of cruising videos coming up real soon. And some more uh, how to fix it videos when something else breaks. So we'll see you back here again very soon. My name is Moose Henderson, and I thank you so much. Goodbye. Now, if the person in charge of the AC would turn it on, I wouldn't be sweating so much.